Uh, today's demonstration is uh, one of my favorites, mainly because it's simple. It just involves two elements, iodine and aluminum, and the ratio of the iodine to the aluminum is, uh, uh, this particular one is three parts aluminum, so three grams of aluminum, six grams of iodine. So can we get a close-up of the aluminum powder? Okay, and how about the iodine? Uh, most of you probably have lots of iodine in your storeroom, and you know you can only make so much tincture of iodine or iodine testing solutions. And so, what do you do with it? I mean, we have I think at uh, my old school we had over a kilogram of iodine. So we try to think of demonstrations that we can use that use up some of the materials that we have in the storeroom, trying to get our volumes down a little bit so we're not storing so much of those materials. And de chemical demonstrations are a very very good way for you to be able to do that. And also, uh, I like a lot of the history of how the periodic table was developed and so forth. And here we are using two elements. So we could teach this uh, during synthesis if we were talking about chemical reactions. Uh, we could look at the, we could look at the uh, charges on these if we wanted to. We could talk about compound formation. We could talk about a whole bunch of things. And, and really, it only takes about two minutes to set this up. Once you have your iodine and aluminum, then you're, then you're good to go. Now, one thing about the iodine is it it's, comes in chunks. I mean, it comes in uh, fairly large pieces, and so you'll need to get a, you need to have a mortar and pestle, and you need to grind it real uh, into a real fine powder. Now, a lot of things you don't want to grind, but iodine is perfectly safe. You can really, uh, you know, grind that up into a very, very, very fine powder. And then you want to keep them separate until you're ready to do the experiment, because uh, the iodine and the aluminum is going to be activated with a few drops of water. So if you live in a humid part of the country, uh, you know, these could go up, you know, while you, if you make one, if you make, like some people like to make five setups in a row for all five classes during the day, this is not a particular demonstration that you'd want to be able to do that with because you'll do the one would work fine and the other four would go off in the hood at random times uh, without your, <laughs> sometimes you'd be in the room, sometimes you wouldn't be in. And you do need a fume hood for this. What I'm gonna do is I have the, the aluminum here and I have the iodine, and so I'm just gonna pour them together, maybe. Okay, and then once I have them together, I'm gonna mix them, and again, you know, they say, be careful when you're mixing, you know, oxidizers and so forth. Well, well, this is, this is pretty good. This is, not, this is not one that I've ever had any kind of problems with, other than if it's real high humidity. I can already start to see some purple uh, vapors in here. I don't know if we can get a little close-up of that, if you'll be able to see them. But the iodine and the aluminum, it's already starting to change color a little bit. And then what I like to do is I like to mound this up and to make a little, like, kind of like a little hill of it. So I'll lay it flat so I can do that. And then make a little depression down in the center. So I can add the water, because so can we see that? Great. Okay. And again, see it's already starting. I don't know if you can see this. I haven't done anything to it yet. All right, so that's why you don't want to pre-mix these ahead of time. So I'm going to add a few drops of water and then stand off to the side. And again, practicing these things with your colleagues is great. Oh yeah. And away we go. What was said earlier about colored gases are poisonous. So again, remind the kids about that. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that'll go for several minutes, so the kids have plenty of time to, to write questions, ask, you know, make predictions, do all that kind of stuff uh, in terms of doing, using the chemistries. Now the chemistry of the reaction, it's aluminum plus iodine. Iodine is one of the diatomic elements, which the students don't always recognize that. If you haven't got to formula writing at that point, 
then you can explain to them that some elements don't exist by themselves, but they exist in a diatomic form, and let it go at that. Most of the time, my students are satisfied with that explanation. And then when we get to formula writing, then we can talk more about why that is so. And then we make aluminum iodide. And of course, balancing, depending on, again, where you are in the course, uh, I may have balanced it for them, or that may be one of the pieces that they actually do. If, I, if we're doing this on a formula writing unit, then I would write the names, have them write the formulas and balance and take care of all that. Thank you.